What is up guys, it is XX here, and in today's video, I am playing Apocalypse Rising 2 on Roblox for the first time. Uh, now, I've seen a lot of footage of this game, heard a lot of things, it always looked like a great game, but I never actually got the chance to sit down and give it a shot, so that's what today's video is. I played about an hour and a half of this game, and this is some of the highlights. I guess you could call highlights. There was a lot of deaths, I will say but it was quite an interesting adventure regardless. So I think you guys will enjoy this. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe. I'll be posting a lot more content on Apocalypse Rising 2. So stay tuned for that, but let's get right into the video. We got a jack, oh, that's nice. Heard there's some decent loot here, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully the zombie will give me an AK. Oh, got an AK, all right. So I'm not totally sure what the best way of looting is. I heard you kind of just click it. But I don't know if you click tab. I'm not sure. If you guys have any advice on like how to pick things up, any advice at all, just let me know. I'm trying to figure this game out. Oh, we got a car here. I'm gonna try to push this dude. It's fine. Right, and we just got destroyed. Game is a lot harder than I thought it'd be. All right, let's give this another shot. Life number two. Let's see how we do here, boys. Oh, it's a player right there. This is when I realized that this game was going to be a lot harder than I imagined. I came into this game thinking, alright, I'm Global Elite CSGO, um, I play PUBG pretty good, I came to this, Phantom Forces Pro, whatever. This game is different. It's definitely a different shooter. That's what I realized at this point. But, hey, first time for everything. And, you know, figure it'd just take me some time to get good. But, yeah, we'll see how that plays out in the next bit here. Because uh, it definitely gets kind of interesting in this video. And it's, you guys will see. Definitely saw this. Zombies there. But found ourselves another AK. So yeah, another opportunity to get something done. <laughs> another thing I noticed guys pretty quickly is I noticed that a lot of this game is just a bunch of running. A bunch of looting and running, but the fights do seem to make it worth it. Oh, that is a dead zombie. Let's see. Do we get the jump on this guy? Yes. Alright, well, we just got destroyed again. Oh boy. Now, I will be completely honest right now with you guys. At this point, I was feeling very discouraged. I was like, do I even keep going? Is this game for me? Should I just give up? But you know what? I'll tell you something. If you don't give up, you eventually get good. And that's the mindset I'm gonna apply to this game and that I was applying to myself in this moment. And I figured if I just stick to it, I'll eventually get good. So we'll see how that played out. Alright, we got an AR. There we go. Is 
those people in it. Now, for some reason, I literally could not find this dude. I believe they call this area the hive, if I remember correctly. But yeah, I literally could not find this dude in this area. And I was just looking forever. I will give you, actually I probably shouldn't give advice, but me as a new player, I know for sure, I'm probably not coming back to this area to PvP for a bit. Not until I know what I'm doing, because this was the scariest place I had ever seen. Well, that did not go well. At this point, I was just confused. Am I doing something wrong? You know, is my aim bad? I couldn't believe it. I'd play CSGO, I'd gotten global elite on CSGO, and I can't even play a Roblox game and kill one player. It was really bad, guys, I'm not gonna lie. But, I felt like I was getting the aim a little bit better. I was figuring out that scrolling into first person and shooting did help a lot in certain situations. Third person was better for some, and then also aiming down sight was better for some. I think in that fight I should have just hip fired, but this was something that was going to take me time to learn. Uh, but I did feel like I was slowly getting better, and you guys will see what I'm talking about when I apply those to the next few fights here. Ooh, an AUG. I believe if I'm not mistaken, I've heard this is a really good gun. Ooh, an AK. Honestly, I think I will hang on to this AUG though. But we'll grab this AK just in case. I'm gonna head up over here, see if I can get some action. I hear some gunshots. If I can sneak up mid fight, I think that would be ideal. Oh, there's guys down there. Okay. Okay. That was so bad. dude didn't come in, I think it would've been alright. Wow, this game is really hard, I'm not sure how to aim. <laughs> I'm starting to realize that. I'm, I'm definitely missing something with the aiming. Shotgun's probably better than pistol. Ah, oh, you gotta get on it. I didn't know if I was a player at first. Maybe shotgun's the best weapon for a beginner. <laughs> Ooh, we got an AK. I feel like oh my god I'll be honest guys even though I did get my first two ever kills in this game 
I wasn't feeling too good. I felt like those players were probably new as well. Um, but, hey, it was something. And I'll take what I could get at this point. After all the deaths I had and a lot more to come, hey, I'll take some I'll take some kills. Whatever I can get a kill is a kill, you know? So I was pretty hyped up at this point, feeling a little bit better. But uh, we'll see what happens next because it gets pretty interesting. So yeah guys, that was pretty much my experience uh, playing Apocalypse Rising 2 for the first time. And I will say, it was quite fun. Uh, there's a lot of very intense moments in there which I did enjoy uh, at the same time. They were very nerve wracking. But I think if I play this game more and I just get a little bit better, I think it could be a really fun game. So stay tuned guys for more content on Apocalypse Rising 2. And thanks for watching. Peace.